Hello, let's see how to best collect and understand your operational data with Business Automation Insights. Do you complete a lot of work and wish you had more visibility so you could increase your organization? Are you leading a good team and know that understanding your work leads to better customer experience? It's time to check out Business Automation Insights. It provides a 360 degree view of your operations cross cloud pack for automation, and it feeds a data lake so you can infuse AI into your business automation solutions. Consider your managing team working on these four groups of automation tasks, pre-processing, primary and final review, as well as onboarding. Your team uses multiple business automations to help, including onboarding that orchestrates multiple human system tasks, content management for the collaboration and governance of structured and unstructured documents, intelligent capture to extract data and meaning from that content, robots for the repetitive tasks so your team can spend more time with customers, and decision management for consistently applying business rules and machine learning to drive automation. Now you need more visibility across these automations. Let's see how insights can help. Let's take a look at some of the work the team does today, such as managing and uploading documents, and the associated properties into a content system, launching and completing case and process workflows, and also the results of decision automation. Here we can see an approval and robotic data lookup and entry by the robots. Now that we have operational events flowing to insights, such as process and case starts and completions, content uploads and views, decision runs, and more, let's see how they look in the out-of-the-box dashboards provided by insights. First, the case dashboard, which covers progress and status of the cases overall, some average times, rollover rates, and histograms for arrivals over time. Next, we dive a level deeper and look at the task dashboards. Tasks represent units of work within workflows, and so we're able to track similar overview metrics, as well as the differentiation between humans and robotic roles in green and red, and then similar pie charts. The dashboard ends with the data table, and it, as well as all other charts, can be used to filter by a single click. Here, let's click on unclaimed in the table, and the entire dashboard is filtered to only show unclaimed tasks. From the Decisions dashboard, we can better understand the points in our business where we make rule-based decisions. We can filter the dashboard on a specific decision called a rule set, such as loan evaluation here, and then review the execution timeline or dive into specific rules and their execution frequency. A common requirement is to track specific rules and their execution in relation to business data, maybe how often a risk rating rule executes for loans over a certain value. We'll come back to that type of scenario in a minute. And now, the Content Dashboard allows us to view content events such as creation, updates, and more. Metrics for the number, type, and user involved are provided, and can be correlated with a timeline histogram. If we filter the table at the bottom for just update events, and then keep the previous filters we added for type and user, this results in 89 documents out of more than 2,000 for this object store. You can see it's very easy to find what we need very quickly. Filtering on time is also simple by dragging across the histogram or setting the time values manually. So far, all the dashboards have been out of the box since we can anticipate those KPIs. But you will also want to combine standard event data with your business data to create a KPI unique to you. This dashboard does just that, such as this bar chart that groups applications by their loan amount on the left, or this heat map on the right that shows concentrations of loan amount by country. Assembling our own dashboard is very simple. We create a blank dashboard, click to add the charts, also known as visualizations, drag to reorder them, and then save. And last, let's create our own chart, the use case from earlier related to filtering based on business data. So let's say we need to understand the trend of approved applications over time. We create a bar chart, set a weekly bucket, and then split by the loan approval rule decision. Finally, we adjust the look and feel. Once we save the new chart, it can be added to any dashboard as before. Intelligence is a new frontier of automation, and we all need to help our knowledge workers gather information quicker, understand the situation in order to personalize interactions, and determine the next best action in order to drive business.